Hare Krishna. So, in this video, I'll be reading the translation of Navagavaravada. Number one, his complexion is the hue of fresh cream tinged with kumkum. He is the ever fresh kipe who shoots arrows of newly blossoming flowers. He bears newer and newer moods of emotional ecstasy. He is fond of performing novel dances. He makes ever new jokes that cause much laughter. His brilliant luster is like freshly cast gold. I bow down to Gaura, the beautiful son of Mother Shachi. He is endowed with ever fresh love of Godhead. His radiant luster is like the color of fresh butter. His fresh attire is arranged in ever new fashion. He relishes ever new mellows of love for Krishna. He shines in ninefold new rays while executing the ninefold processes in devotion. He is permeated with a most auspicious loving nature. I bow down to Gaura, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. He is absorbed in devotion to Sri Hari. He maintains the chanting of the names of Hari. While chanting, the key counts the holy names on the fingers of his hand. He is addicted to the name of Hari. He always has tears of love welling in his eyes. I bow down to Gaura, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. He is always removing the suffering of material existence to mankind. He is the goal of life for persons who are dedicated to their supreme interest. He inspires man to become like honeybees, eager for the honey of Krishna Prima. He removes the burning fever of the material world. I bow down to Gaura, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. He motivates pure devotion unto himself. He is most attractive to his beloved servitors. By his dramatic dancing, he exhibits the characteristics of the king of Paramos. He causes the minds of beautiful young village women to dance. I bow down to Gaura, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. He plays Kartas as his throat emits sweet melodious sounds and the vibrant notes of the Veena are softly played. He thus inspires the devotees to perform dramatic dancing that is infused with aspects of his own devotional service. I bow down to Gaura, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. He is accompanied by the Sankirtan movement, which is the religious practice for the age of Kali. He is the son of Nand Maharaj, come again. He is the extraordinarily brilliant ornament of the earth. His preaching mood is suitably adapted to the cycle of birth and death. His consciousness is fixed in meditation on his own form of Krishna. He is always accompanied by his transcendental abode. I go on to Gaurav, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. His eyes, the soles of his feet, and his clothing are reddish like the color that furrows the rising sun. As he utters his own name, his voice falters. He awakens a sweet flavor to life through the universe. I bow down to Gaura, the beautiful son of Mother Sachi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jaha, Srila Prabhupada ki jaha, Dora Kulju Maha Mahotsal ki jaha.